Harvey formed in the Gulf of Mexico, Coast Guard crews worked around the clock to ensure the safety of our people, assets, and facilities, to direct actions in order to minimize the risk to commercial ports, and to prepare for the search and rescue missions that we knew were to come. Even before Harvey made landfall in South Texas, Coast Guard air crews rescued a dozen mariners from the motor vessel Gulf Justice as she was aground and foundering in high winds and heavy seas at the leading edge of the storm. Harvey raged on for the next five days and Coast Guard crews and aircraft and shallow water boats battled tropical storm winds and near zero visibility in a treacherous urban environment to rescue stranded victims, many of whom suffered from serious medical conditions and needed immediate treatment. And while our Coast Guard crews directly affected the rescue of more than 11,000 people in that time period, using our facilities, our command and control capability, and the on-scene initiative that defines our enlisted workforce, Coast Guard men and women directed and facilitated the rescue of tens of thousands. Even before the storm cleared Texas, our crews were on the water working with partner agencies to restore critical channels and aids to navigation and to ensure the port facilities were able to safely receive ships and restart start operations here in the Port of Houston and throughout Texas. Those efforts ensured that the area refineries not severely damaged by the storm were able to receive feedback and continue to operate. In the weeks and months following the storm, Coast Guard women and men responded to more than 670 pollution sites and removed over 58,000 gallons of oil and more than 8,500 pounds of hazardous material that were spread through coastal Texas by the storm and the floods. As the commander responsible for Coast Guard operations in a 26-state region, including all of Texas, I am tremendously proud of what our Coast Guard men and women accomplished in the face of this historic storm even while many of them suffer damage to their own homes and property alongside their fellow Texans. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, the men and women of the 8th Coast Guard District are proud and privileged to be members of the world's greatest Coast Guard, and we appreciate your continued strong support of our service. We continue to stand with Texas alongside Texans ready for whatever comes next. I just want to thank all four witnesses and who you represent and everybody in the room who is a part of the response and recovery effort uh, for your service to not only this nation, uh, but to this great state of Texas.